Faster than speed is your standard Sega Racer. So we're looking at the manual and it looks like a lot is going on here. But what we only really need to look at are the four controls. So we have the start button. We have the steering wheel. We have the shift stick. So it goes shift up and shift down. It doesn't have the four gears. And then the pedals. We'll show how to map these controls to your gamepad on your emulator. Back in LaunchBox, we can set up our controls in Flycast. Right click, open Flycast, go to Settings, Controls. This is my Xbox One controller, Map, Arcade Controls, and make sure that you have your left trigger and right trigger mapped for racing games. You can pause the screen so you can copy these settings. After that, go to Done and Done. Alt F4 to exit and let's run the game. When you first run it, you will get to the controller setting screen. And you can see below that you have steering, accelerator, and brake. And you get all minus signs. So let's go to number one. Turn wheel all the way to the left, so that's your left stick. And you get plus signs. That's how you know it's calibrated. Number two, turn wheel all the way to the right, so that's left stick to the right. There's your plus signs again. Step on the gas pedal, which is your right trigger. Press it. And then step on the brake pedal, which is your left trigger. Press it. Before you press start, make sure that your shift stick is working. So right now it's in neutral. Press up. That's high. And press down. That's low. Button 1 is your boost, so press A. We have all the buttons that we need. We can press start. The game reboots, and we can enter test mode. Flycast lets you map the keyboard and gamepad separately, so I use the keyboard for arcade machine functions. 5 is the service switch, and 6 is the test switch. Let's go to coin settings, and let's set this to free play. Save and exit. Configuration, system settings, everything seems to be in order, so we can just save and exit. Game settings. Here you want to set boost type 2 unlimited. This lets you boost as many times as you want in the game. Stage type selectable means you can select the stage you want. Back in the day, the game used to unlock cars after a certain number of weeks. So we want to set this to all. This means that all cars will be available. Save and exit. Exit and exit. Choose your ride. So as we can see, we have all the cars, all the way up to type 12. And we can pick the colors by shift up or down, and then gas to accept.
Okay, okay boys and girls, let's, let's race. race. Ready? Go! Right trigger to accelerate. Left trigger to brake. Left stick to steer, of course. And then A to boost. Now if you mess up your settings, you can always go back to the folder where Flycast is. Go into data. And here you can see the non-volatile and EEP ROM file. And what you want to do is look for the ROM name, FP speed. And you can delete these files. So it's not here anymore. And that resets all the configurations in test mode, including the gamepad calibrations. That's it. That's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching.